Hey you guys, my name is Underkinder95, and welcome back. My fingers are going to get in the way. Welcome back to a quick video. Um, so this is a custom desk... Uh, uh, this is a custom desk fan that I have made myself now. Excuse all the mess. I got mess everywhere. I will tell you guys about it after I tell you guys about it. Um, I will demonstrate it. And I hope you guys enjoy it. Now this is, um, as you guys can see, it's the fan itself is a, it's a 250 millimeter case fan. The power supply is a 0.8 amp 12 volt power supply. Um which is down there right there plugged in I got it coming around there's a beautiful Christmas tree I still have running um, and the uh, the switch is a variable speed knob variable speed control um, I wanted kind of a different you know I wanted a you know, variable speed, I want multiple speeds, you know, and that's what you really would expect for, you know, any fan in reality, got it to focus a little bit, a little bit better, um, so, and I, I gotta say, you know, the lowest setting doesn't really work real well, and I, I, I will say it has, it has a low, and it has a high, but you know to get the low to sit right and i i think it's the controller itself you know um you know maybe one day we'll we'll buy another one or we'll get a little bit smaller I mean, we'll try something different um and if you guys have any ideas or suggestions let me know that down below um but that's really the gist of it so as you guys could see what I did is I had some popsicle sticks. I got some. I'll show you guys. If I could pick them up. Got some craft sticks that I uh, decided to use. And I super glued all those together. And again, that is, that's, it's, and then I super glued them together to act as a base for the fan itself because the fan, just as is, is very wobbly. It's a huge fan compared to, um, I don't have an example right now or a good, a good example, but this here is a 80 millimeter case fan. That's good, good quality. AVC. Uh, model number, as you guys can see, 12 volts, 0.7 amps, and it's a ball bearing. Anyhow, it's AMD, 80 millimeter, compared to this huge uh, fan. But anyhow, I'll lay that there. Um, so it did wobble a lot, so I wanted it to be sturdy. To where it wouldn't fall, I would have to have it leaned, and I actually had it leaned on uh, my TV set at one point in time, and that worked okay, but I want something more efficient, you know, and maybe with an actual power supply where I can have it on or off, as you guys can see, I'll just, it's a little tidbit. Uh, the power switch does work where I wanted to have an on and off switch, but I, again, I wanted to have more than an on and off switch. But anyhow, so the base is very sturdy, and what I did is I super glued the fan on first. This fan is well, as you guys, as you could see, fan's not going anywhere. I super glued the fan onto the base the best I could. It has definitely worked very well. I super glued all the wires. Super glued the port, super glued the A and R. I have everything super glued to the base. And again, I'm I'm very proud of this, and I'm I'm very happy with this, and how this turned out. Now another cool thing about the power supply I have to point out is it does come with this adapter, 
which is really nice instead of splicing everything and which way you know you have to splice one part and that's for the power and it works really well and I, I I really like it so far so let me go ahead and hope I explained if you guys have any more questions down below let me know or if you guys have any suggestions of any projects that we could do fan wise in the future let me know I will go ahead and turn it on and demonstrate it for you guys So if you guys look, I turn it down, that right there is like a low speed, or a pretty decent low, you could see the fan still wobble. Fan still does wobble, but not as much since it's actually sturdy in place. You guys can look at it from the angle or from the side angle. So that that counts as as more of a low. Of course, it's going to shut off. The switch has the the switch is the thing that has the issue. But if I turn the switch just just enough if I turn the switch just enough so the switch switch has a has some sort of malfunction on it but it does work as you guys can see and again I am I'm very proud of that and I I hope you guys are too um, if you guys haven't seen the follow-up to this and me building it, hopefully you guys will enjoy this video. There's a specific size of this fan that I'm actually looking for that I have not found. Oh, there it goes again. So again, that's low speed. Let you guys get a little bit closer. Hopefully you guys can hear hear it running. So that's your low speed, and once you get the controller at a good good spot, it runs really nice on on low speed. And again, this this fan is very very powerful. I I am blown away of how powerful that this fan truly is. Now nothing else has really changed fan wise in here. This is the newest display or newest fan running in the office. So I'll go ahead and cut it to high for you guys. So low. That pretty much is high all the way up. does rattle a little bit you guys can hear it running but what more can I say about this project again I'm, I'm very happy with it I am very very happy with it I'll shut it down for you guys spin down time is phenomenal on this fan as well As you guys can see. So there's the custom desk fan or the computer fan, desk fan. Let me know if you guys want to give it a name. We'll turn it back to high. Give it a second to... There it goes. I'm impressed with this and I like this. Hope you guys are... Or or will stay tuned for more um, more fan stuff, more projects similar to this in the future. I have ideas and plans. Hope you guys did overall enjoy this um, this video. Hopefully you guys like this this custom fan I built. All it takes is buying parts and stuff. 
But with that said, you guys, if you guys like me, the like the videos, or you like this wonderful piece of artwork that I have built, give me a big like rating. Um, comment down below. Um, any video suggestions, anything I should taste test, any fan stuff I should check out, as well as any games I should try and play as well. Let me know all that good stuff down below. And subscribe if you guys are new, if you guys like the fan stuff. Subscribe in general. It's free. It doesn't hurt. And I also want to thank you guys, those of you that support me, like and subscribe, all that good stuff, watching the stuff, watching content, comments. Thank you all for uh, the support on the channel and for me. I do appreciate you guys. Um, and I hope again you enjoyed. This has been amazing. I absolutely love this. And this is... It's quiet. <laughs> this is amazing to me. And I hope you guys enjoyed. And I hope you guys like this as much as I did. If you guys want to do something similar to this, again, give me give me the comments. I'm always open to comments or suggestions. And uh, let me know what you guys think down below. I'm going to go ahead and end it there again. Thank you guys so much for watching. You guys are fantastic. And look for more cool stuff like this in the future. So again, like, comment, and subscribe. And as always, I will see you guys in the next episode. One more spin down before I end it. And I will leave you guys with that. Bye guys. Thank you guys so much for watching.